and um, um, so actually thank you for emphasizing that point because I don't think I'm going to have time for questions and I will just uh, uh, submit some questions for the record. But that particular issue is of uh, interest to me and obviously the fact that the Baseball Association and Basketball Association don't enjoy that tax exempt status and yet the NFL continues it. I guess my main point is we saw this case with Donald Sterling and we saw immediate and swift action. In fact, Michael Jordan praised the NBA saying a powerful message was sent that there can be no tolerance, zero tolerance for racism and hatred. So it's clear that in some cases, these organizations can act swiftly and do act swiftly. The question is, in this issue of domestic violence, why you don't? And I think that what we're hearing from many of my colleagues today is what is the culture within these organizations that prevent it from acting as swiftly as was in the case of Donald Sterling? So I'm gonna submit some questions for the record, but I also too want to be on record that the NFL, I'm hearing from my constituents as I've raised this issue related to what is a very hateful name and association with the NFL, but my constituents now are just flabbergasted that the NFL continues to enjoy a tax-exempt status. For what purpose? And yet, on these issues of having a name of, of uh, hatred for a team and then having these cases of domestic violence to say nothing of the incidents of what happened in Florida with players, the NFL is not showing the leadership that I believe that it should, and it certainly doesn't deserve the tax exempt status. So I'm going to submit some further record questions for the record, and I want to thank my colleague, uh, Senator McCaskill, for her leadership on this issue, and certainly want to work with her in her role as uh, previously understanding these issues from a prosecutorial perspective of how we can get some uh, cultural issues in, 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 ingrained into these institutions. So I'm going to turn the gavel over to you, and thank you. Thank you.